What is this about? Is this about climate or is it about politics? If it was about climate, Dan, tell me, is exporting LNG from the US better than letting China and India burn coal? So let's put that one to one side. I think politics is playing a big part in this ahead of the elections. Um, of course, climate is going to be a big topic uh, between the two kind of Democrats and Republicans. And definitely part of this is being driven by to get the climate votes. Um, and look, we, we have several meetings here as well, and you, you've got some interviews uh, ahead here as well, kind of discussing those decisions, whether it's a temporary halt or it's going to continue well into the election cycle. I think that's going to be the critical thing to watch for, because if this is this halt goes into October, uh, sorry August, September, then you know this is very much a political decision right into the uh, election cycle. Absolutely. And I'm sure the people you're speaking to on the ground are saying to you what they're saying to me, particularly from a European perspective, and that is they're quite concerned about this because Europe has done a great job winning themselves off Russian barrels. About half of all uh, European imports of LNG come from the United States now. So European energy security could be at risk if this decision holds. Is that fair? I mean, look, I wouldn't say Europe's security is at risk because European and uh, gas demand has continued to fall as well, simply because a lot of this gas is going to the, oh, demand is going to the U.S. because of industry is going there. Now, having said that, what you will see is that U.S. gas prices will come off on the back of this if this were to continue in the medium term, and the rest of the world will go up. So Europe's security in terms of molecules may not be at risk because its demand is going down, but they will have to pay up a lot higher price, which indirectly, yes, then that does put energy security, or you to pay up for energy security, and I don't think anybody's going to be happy with that. It's great news for U.S. industries because they could get a much lower price uh, down the line, and that could be another political angle to play for. But it's definitely not a foreign policy. Uh, well, kudos, that's for sure, because everybody from Asia to Europe is not happy from everyone we've spoken to. Yeah, indeed. And the question is, is less U.S. LNG a win for Russia, Qatar, and Australia? I think it remains to be seen, right? Absolutely. I mean. It is, if all else held equal, if we don't get incremental LNG from the U.S., barring the ones that have been FID, of course everybody else is going to win market share, right? That's, that's obvious because gas demand is going to grow very, very strongly into the medium term. Mm. So it is really up to the U.S. to decide whether it wants to be a player or not.